Did you miss me? Cause I missed you. Actually, Ben and I and my mother, we spent some time with our family and we had a very lovely time. But it's time to get back to the makeup. I have missed this. Just sitting here in my chair, it's like a warm hug. And don't forget, it's Feral Monday. And I'm coming in close. We're having a Cyber Monday sale. Now remember, it's not a big blowout. Remember, we're barely a year old, but it is a little something because of course I have to do something for y'all. So I'm gonna leave the link, click that, go check it out, and let's put some makeup on. All right, let's start with some clean canvas. So I'm thinking that I wanna do some kind of smoky wing. I don't know where this is gonna end up. I never do, by the way. A lot of y'all ask me if I practice the looks, if I plan them, I just sit here and I just look around and get inspired. It's my favorite thing to do. I love creating. So I'm taking my clean canvas all over the lid. And instead of doing a line, I like to just push it into my brow hair. Nice. Today I woke up and chose sparkle. I wanna use this. We don't use this color a lot. And by the way, this is by Queen Cosmetics. I know that y'all know what Queen Cosmetics is. I'm gonna refresh your memory. <laughs> Sparkly gloss. Well, now we have an eyeshadow palette. It's called the Enchanted Forest multi-dimensional eyeshadow palette and I'm excited. I might need a little bit more, a few more mattes, so I'm gonna hop over into this one. But remember, Feral Monday is the day that I get wild and I will use more than one eyeshadow palette. I might use other things, but I know that this color, and I'll be using this color and this color, but I think I need one more matte, but this color right here is speaking to me. So is this one and then so is this one. So let's do this. Now we're gonna start over here and I believe this is a new palette. Y'all know I love Artist Couture. So you might recognize this packaging because there's another one. It's the one that has shimmers in it. I love that palette. I have one in my travel and one here in my day-to-day -day routine. But I'm gonna start with this shade and we're gonna grab that on our E28. So there's that. And this is gonna be a very spicy look but I'm actually gonna to try to keep minimal steps. So let's just lay down a nice transition first. That's a beautiful, smooth matte. And I'm gonna pick up more of that same shade, one more tap of it, just one tap. So by a tap, I just meant I tapped in one time. And then I'm just gonna take that and kind of bring it over here. Now all of that crease and upper lid space is set, aside from our brow bone, but we'll get to that. That's not as important to set because that doesn't crease. So I'm just tapping this side in while well, Jean Bean snores. Jean Bean, of course, went with us yesterday. Well, on the little trip. He is a dog. He wears a harness like a dog. He went to lunch with us yesterday like a dog. Outside, of course. But we had my family's big, huge, white, furry shepherd. Huge and gorgeous. And then we had Dougie. And then Jean, the cat, y'all. The cat had his little red harness on and he was just sitting on the porch because it was on a porch. We were just sitting there and he was sitting there like a dog and he's not scared of the big white shepherd. He's just like looking around. So I, I wish I'd taken pictures, but I was just in the moment. I was just losing my mind over a cat sitting there with a big, huge dog and a little dog and everybody was just eating pizza outside by the beach. <laughs> Time of my life. Now moving on to this color, do a few taps in there. And I'm gonna take this, press it across here. Today I'm actually going to post a video on why I don't tap my brushes like this. If you do, please continue. I, I, I'm so afraid that y'all would think I would ever say something that I do is the only way and that's not how I feel at all. I want y'all to do what works for you, but I did do a video on why I don't do that. And in case something isn't working out for you, that might solve it. But if it's already working out for you, then it doesn't matter. So, let's... Okay, this doesn't need precision right now. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. <laughs> We're gonna grab an E26, and this is probably my favorite gel liner. But let's shut the cap. Shut that cap immediately. This one's from Pretty Vulgar, plus the packaging is so pretty. It's gorgeous. Take this on an E26, and right now we don't need precision. 
I know that y'all are saying, Rose, that's still precise, but it's not. And I don't want you to have to worry about it mm -hmm. because what we're gonna do is we're gonna smudge this out, but this black underneath here is gonna give us so much depth. So get, don't even worry about that. Don't you worry, okay? I feel like a lot of times we just see these beautiful finished looks and we don't see what it takes to get there. And it really scares us off, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying, I was saying that I'm trying to make sure that y'all see it in all of its stages. Seeing it, this makeup, these types of wild looks like this in all of these different stages is so important because it's gonna give you so much more confidence because you're seeing it the way that you might be doing it. And you would be at this stage and you'd be like, this looks absolutely terrible. I don't know where to go from here. That's where I come in. Also, I feel like this brush is more slept on in the collection and right now is the best time to get it with 10% off in case you don't have it. I just have to say that because I want y'all to have some really nice brushes. Okay, moving on. Now I just wiped my E26 off, just wiped it on Sheila. Everybody say hi to Sheila, she just got a bath. <laughs> you know? So if y'all really wanna know why she looks so dirty, I've had her for at least four or five Halloweens and Halloween makeup is just, it's Halloween makeup, it's filthy, she stained. So let's start with this shade right here. Actually, let's start with this one. And again, we're just gonna use that E26 and we're just gonna start to tap that and smooth it. You can even pull the brush a little bit, but I do want you to notice that I'm pulling in one direction. I'm not swiping. And we're gonna start to blend it. And you can even use a tiny brush like this. I'm picking up more of that same shade. You can still use a tiny brush like this to blend and I feel like we forget that. Are you still scared? Don't be scared. Let's tap that on top. And we're gonna transition it even more, but for right now, we kinda need to set. Ooh, look at that, Ooh, that's nice. We have left makeup. We kinda need to set all of this black liner and start a very small transition. And then we'll switch to the E27 but we're just kind of smoothing that top area. Now it's time to switch brushes because everything's nice and set and smoothed and it's time to switch palettes. Let's grab this color and we're gonna to start to tap that above the black. And I wanna keep this pretty controlled. Ooh, look how nice and smooth that is now. And I'm gonna show you all that too. And if you're new here, on Mondays, I allow myself to go absolutely feral with my makeup. But if you check my saved highlights, you can find looks that are way more simple and everybody can try them and somewhere to start because right now we're off in feral makeup land. And I just kind of keep packing that on. I'm picking up, picking up that product in the center of the brush, not the side. That way, I can now let's go in with the lighter color. I'm gonna grab this on the side now. And now we'll start to tap that above. Don't you worry, we're still gonna get into this spicy, delicious color. That color, and then that color, ooh, okay. But we have to finish this first. And then we'll clean up that lid space. Ooh, look at how pretty that blend is. I also want the blend to stop at about right there. And when I'm saying right there, I don't want it to go too far up to the brow bone. Now back with our E26, let's grab, it ran away. <laughs> let's grab this shade. Completely relax our eye. And I'm gonna start here. And I'm just gonna bring this shadow this way towards the inner part of the eye. I'm not going to transition it the way I transitioned everything else. I just want some shape here. Now we're gonna need our micellar water. I like the pink cap because it never leaves residue and it doesn't make my makeup 
move it. as soon as it dries you can layer right back over it so i'm not going to worry about cleaning up all of this lid space we'll just tap the rest of that back in but what i am going to do is just really clean this up i like the shape i just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth see that and then i'm just wiping the brush on sheila look at that Ooh. and don't worry about that I'm just keep wiping, wiping it back on Sheila, grabbing a little bit more of that micellar water. There we go. And then the same thing underneath here. I might add more liner underneath. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're just on a makeup journey together, but we're gonna clean that up. And then that's the micellar water on there. And then of course the precision of the C30. <laughs> now we're not gonna need a whole lot of base here now. So we'll just take whatever's left here on our brush, tap it. And if you feel like you took a little bit of this base off underneath here and you need a little bit more, we're just gonna grab our C30 and we should just be able to kind of push it where we want it. We don't need too much base for this. Okay, we got our shimmer grabber here, <laughs> also known as the C30. We're gonna start with this shade. It actually looks green, so it's gonna have a green flip. When I'm looking at it this way, you can see it there. I hope you can. I'll do, I'll do low light. Oh, it's so good. And then this is full light. So it's gonna have a really, really heavy green flip. We're gonna grab it. And remember, with the shimmers, I grab quite a bit. I do. I just go to Shimmer Town. Ooh, are y'all excited? Are you gonna put on your makeup seat belts? Safety first. So let's just go ahead and start to press that into the eyeshadow base. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Look, you can see the flip there. There it is, you see it? This is a very flippy shadow. <laughs> That's so good. So I have a direct light, it's not a ring light. I don't have anything softening my skin on it, but I use a lot of flip shadows. I'm saying that because with direct light, you normally only see one color, but just this little bit of variance in the lighting, I can see the green. That's really awesome. And I, again, there you can see it. I'm saying that because flip shadows with my direct light usually just stay one color and I have to change the lighting or turn it off and then turn around so you can see it. But I'm really impressed because straight on, straight ahead, I can see the green. And there you go, you can see it right there. That's awesome. So now I'm picking up more of that same shadow. I keep losing it because it keeps flipping and then it's like green. It's like, well, I thought I was using the pinky red. I don't know, it's, oh my gosh, that's stunning. And remember, we're gonna leave a little bit of room for our liner. Get all the way in there, nice and precise with the C30. And then for the inner part, we're gonna switch, but let me do the other eye, because I was gonna do the lighter shade towards the front. Now let's switch over to the other shade, this one right here. I was just wiping the brush off lightly on Sheila. And then we'll put this one towards the front. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's gonna be very similar in color because it is just gonna mix in, but it's still gonna be lighter. There, you can see it. Oh gosh, the sparkle on this alone. I'm so happy, I'm so impressed. Stunning. Just so you can see, you can see that the inner corner one here doesn't have the green. I'm so excited. I know this looks absolutely feral still, but we're getting there, <laughs> slowly but surely. <laughs> So let's just go back in with that same pretty vulgar gel liner and an E26. Kind of cover all that up. <laughs> I'm absolutely feral. I'm doing a hot pink waterline. It's really gonna pull out the pink from this shadow. It's gonna look scary until there's shadow underneath here. I know, I feel like so often we just don't follow through with things because we'll put this on and be like, whoa, it looks like I'm ill, but it won't. Once the foundation is on and then you have a nice brown transition here, you just gotta trust the process.
I have a new style of lashes here from, I think, one of my favorite lash brands at the moment. These are from Roquel Beauty. And these are the style Full Moon. And they have a cat eye shape, meaning that they're flared at the end. And that's my favorite. See that, how it goes from small to big? Oh, it's my favorite. I love it. But the other ones I love are called Moonlight. But these are called Full Moon. And I just love how non-existent the lash band is. All right, I'm gonna take a quick little break. I gotta run downstairs and make some more water. I'll come back and we'll finish up this duochrome masterpiece. And we're gonna try out, I'm gonna try this out. They sent this over. We'll figure out my shade. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one. I'm not even gonna open the other ones. Yeah, I can tell. Anyways, this is the Revlon Color Stay in combination to oily skin. And with skin prep, we can make anything work. Even though I'm balanced to dry, we could still make this work. We'll just need a little bit more hydration. I'll be back. I ran away, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm back now. So we're going in with the foundation I mentioned. This this is the Revlon Color Stay. I'm gonna be using the shade. Haha, <laughs> there it is, 300. This is gonna have SPF 15 in it as well. I'm seeing that. That looks like a decent match. It's a little yellow, but nothing too banana in pajama. We'll see how it dries down. I'm already seeing it dry down a little bit more pink. And that's what I need. Oh, that's pretty. Look how nice that looks. The brush I'm using is a prototype. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. And then That's satisfying to watch. I'm just gonna let it run. That looks so good. Oh, no. No, that matches. That's perfect. See, you don't have to wait a second for your foundations to dry down a little bit and kind of adjust. And because this isn't a extremely full coverage foundation, my undertone is still going to kind of peek through. And we can still build it up, but it's still gonna be there and it's, you're gonna see that through that foundation and that's gonna make it look more believable. So it's gonna look yellow for a second, like it did earlier, and then we're gonna blend it in, and then you're again, you're gonna see the kind of the pink coming through. That's why I find that unless your foundation is medium to full coverage, I don't worry as much. Now, I still try to go around my range, but I don't worry as much about matching it perfectly. It's only when you have this kind of separation here. <laughs> now I hope that this wears nicely because this looks so good. That looks so good through my T-zone, so smooth. I'm letting y'all see, that looks really, really nice. Look at how smooth that looks, even in my fine lines there. Wow, I'm excited. Let's use this concealer. I'm wanting a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use more concealer today than I normally do. Well, Jean Beam purrs. Nice. I'm gonna actually highlight here a little bit more and highlight here a little bit more, just for a kind of spotlight effect in the center of the face. And I'm gonna use a denser brush today because I want to keep that coverage. So remember the denser the brush and the shorter the bristles also, the more coverage you're going to keep with your concealer. And also I'm okay with that precision. Do a little bit more, nice. Do that precision underneath there. And this is the C31 I think I mentioned. See how much less scary that pink looks now? And then once we kind of balance that with the brown underneath, it's gonna be so pretty. Jean's percolating for us. <laughs> His little sneeze, he's so cute. That looks so nice. See how it's kind of brighter through the center, but not too much. Too much for me, I should say. You know, sometimes I like it to just be almost 
bright, super bright. I'll even use white concealer and I've done that before, but that's why I like makeup. I like different things every single day. So I'm using my Givenchy powder, shade 03. Look how smooth that is. So nice. And then again, I'll pick it up, even that out on the puff. You just want it to be really nice and even. I have so many videos that mention this, but sometimes I like to give you all a little bit of a, of a refresher, even though it's been just a few seconds, um, this will have creased. When concealer or eyeshadow primer, anything very, very wet like this, anytime that's not set, it's going to crease and it's gonna crease almost instantly. So we wanted to press those creases out before we press this in. Otherwise we're just setting creases and that's just, it's not my cup of tea. By the way, a quick reminder, this actually released only a month or two ago and it's actually 10% off right now and just for today. So if you've been thinking about it, I'll get you some puffs. They do make a great little stocking stuffer fit in there real nicely. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about something that I don't really see a whole lot and that's bronzer transitioning, just like our eyeshadow. Transitioning just about all of our makeup is what makes it look more believable. And the way I like to do that is focusing on how much I'm picking up on the brush. So let's do one tap in here. You can see it across here evenly because I tapped in. I don't need to do like that. I was very mindful of how much I picked up. So I'm gonna start here and notice that this side on the C40 is towards my ear. And I read a review today that said this is the bronzinator and I laughed so hard. Y'all are absolute angels. So you're gonna see me use two bronzers. I am gonna use two bronzers. What is that? We don't even know. We'll come back to that. So I'm pressing this in and I'm focusing most of it from here to about right here. Don't even worry about taking it over this way for right now. Let's just taking that same bronzer. I'm going to lightly put it into my hairline, but I'm going to focus most of it here. Stay with me. Same thing here. And again, I'm not contouring. I'm just making sure that my jawline just kind of flows down into the rest of my body because remember bronzer isn't contour we talk about that a lot too but bronzer definitely gives you a beautiful shape and depth to your face so i'm going to be using a very extensive bronzer but the reason i'm using this is because it's not as pigmented as my other bronzers it's a lot more natural um what i'm going to say is you probably have a bronzer that you're like i can't get this to work or this isn't pigmented enough on my skin look for a bronzer that does not have a lot of pigment that can be any range i had one from rimmel that i absolutely loved for this but i can't find it so this is in that realm but I, this is a lovely bronzer but i'm not telling you you need this bronzer what i'm telling you is you need a bronzer that is not as pigmented that if I tap in here, I'm not gonna get a ton of pigment on there. So that's all I'm saying. See that? I tapped in twice and say I was using my Gucci bronzer, we'd be, we'd be Gucci bronze right now. But you're gonna start to see this transition. And just like our eyeshadow, it's gonna look so much smoother. And this is also a fabulous technique for bronzer that might become patchy just use one that is way 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 less pigmented and what it does it kind of goes in there and fills in all of those gaps and it just looks so smooth look at that that looks so pretty it's the little things again you don't need this bronzer you're just wanting a bronzer that is way less pigmented than the first bronzer you lay down and it can be extremely extremely affordable and most of us and if you don't have two bronzers don't worry about it but most of us have a bronzer that's sitting in a drawer just sitting there because it wasn't pigmented enough mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's finish up the side let's grab our palette and let's grab the shade we're going to grab it on the center of our e27 right in the middle and we're going to press that underneath here how pretty that is now. Just kind of anchors that pink waterline. Makes it stand out even more. Ooh, that is nice. 
Look how nice and pigmented that brown eyeshadow was too. So I want to do some draping and I want to use this color here from NARS. This is the Afterglow palette. Um, that's Savage. So this is the shade Flirt. So NARS Flirt. And look at that. Look at how that's almost the same color as that. Ooh, I love doing that. And then I'm going to place it here. I might put on a lot of this, y'all. I'm in a blushy mood. We're using that C41. And I picked up a very small amount. Remember, I'm very mindful with how much product I pick up. And we're going to post that tonight. That's what I'm going to post. Goodness, that is gorgeous. And when you start to add it here, you'll see that this side of the face now just looks really angled upwards as opposed to applying it underneath here, which kind of gives that the face just a little bit more of a blush here, kind of on that front of the apple going up underneath the eye. It kind of gives a, I was saying more of a glow and it's also gonna kind of lift that apple of the cheek, but this kind of lifts everything up this way, which is kind of what this wing is already doing. It gives us a very lifted look. And I'm kind of doing that same thing where I'm building it up more through here and then using whatever's left on the brush to transition it towards the eye but i'm not taking the blush really past this way more all focusing this way do you trust me i feel like i have to ask y'all that every single day this is such a nice true nude but you know what we're, we're definitely not gonna wear it like this but I do want to lay that lip color down. Mmm, I like it. Spicy. Ooh, fancy. No, hold on, lip liner. Don't worry, I'm not going to do this to y'all. Hang on. Let me find a lip liner. I think this one might work. Let's try ColourPop Oh Snap. It's going to have quite a bit of pink to it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to grab that lipstick and I'm going to kind of mix it into the lip liner. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Because I still want a very nude lip. I want a very nude and glossy lip. But we definitely need some definition to it. Yeah, this is perfect. And if you're wondering why would you ever have a lipstick this light, if you're around my skin tone, even more fair, um, these are so great for highlighting the sin. Now we're grabbing this color on that same E27, and that's gonna be our inner corner highlight. This look is so holiday, I love it. Let's do it over here too. Ugh, I love it. Now, I am gonna go film with one of these. This is the new trio from Queen Cosmetics. I'm gonna link it, that way it's easy just for you to tap and look at it. I think I wanna use this one. This is the shade Magic Potion. <laughs> I am gonna go film with this. I love y'all so much, and I hope y'all enjoyed Feral Monday. I, I love it. This is just my kind of spicy eye look. I missed y'all so much this weekend. It feels so good to be back. Tomorrow, we'll talk about something a little bit more simple. Um, maybe we'll talk about eyeshadow base and getting your eyeshadow to stay because I'm getting a lot of DMs about oily lids and eyeshadow just not wanting to stay. We're gonna figure it out. We'll figure it out together. I love y'all with all of my heart and I'll see y'all in the comments tonight.